there's a lot of mill lists that appear in the challenges, the 5-0 leagues, and in the prelims as well. There's a lot to sift through, and I do regularly, I try and take some time throughout the week to sift through the latest hot tech that all of y'all have been pushing. And this is one from a couple of months ago from an international event where the player themselves were playing a relatively like, normal mill list. They had some good sideboard options, but one artifact stuck out, and that was the One Ring. A card that I tried a while ago, and I think it was actually really powerful just because generically the card is really good, but whether or not it's good in mill, uh, who knows. But ultimately, I found out that it was good in the grindy matchups. This card, once it resolved, won you more games because a big problem that the deck has is density. You need to have enough mill, mill spells, and then you'll be able to win the game. And you'll see in this league right here that in a lot of cases, we do actually win off the back of that grind. Enjoy. There's an opportunity to meme out an opponent here. <laughs> There's an opportunity here. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, let's pass. Let's pass. Let's pass. No, no point. No point. No point right now. Let's see what they play. A lot of fetching happening from opponents these days. So, oh. Oh, what's going on right now? What's going on right now? Uh, okay. Let's go to my turn. Increase the chance of me drawing a land. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. There you go. That's that's the that's the land right there. That's the land right there. Oh, baby. All right, opponent. What are we doing here? What are we making happen? Oh, we're fetching now. Polluted Delta. Coming in for the what? Coming in for the what right now? Oh, what are you gonna do? You gonna put it in your yard? If you keep it on top, it's getting it's getting milled. If it's if it's oh, I love that. Let's let's uh put that away. Ooh, looking like we're playing Demir Control. If we can resolve the One Ring, I think we just drown them in value here. I probably should have just surgical, but yeah, because Orcish Bellmasters would have been a great hit here because that's exactly what we're getting. Uh, I'll pay two. A2 for their Orcish Bowmasters. They have a ring. That's fine. So we're essentially just like take out the threats. They can obviously like eventually Archmage's Charm our thing, but that's fine. That's not a concern to me right now. So they have no way to recur this. Wow. Okay. If you look at this. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. It's not too much. So Shieldress, Tashana, Tidebinder, and Subtlety. Four threats. Bobby, I could have gotten like one more card out of this, but that's fine. Let's keep those cards in there. They don't have a way, way to recur any of this, so that's fine. This doesn't serve me any purpose. Let's just keep the numbers in there, and then we will we'll fetch now. We'll grab our own Undercity Sewers, right? Right? Um, yep. Save targets, always yield. Mill them for three. We will definitely be putting that on top, because I think we're winning game one here. I think, uh, I think we're going to be winning game one here. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but... I think we're winning game one here. Okay, Watery Grave going to shock in for that counter spell. Hundo P. Hundo P. That's where they want to be. Okay, so we don't want to do anything too crazy just yet. Yeah, I don't want to give them the Archmage's Charm right now. I don't want to give them that capability just now. I'm down to give it to them this next turn, though. Not right now, but I'm down to give it to them here. Yeah, I think they might see. Oh, they. Oh, OK. They just they don't have a stop set on their upkeep, maybe. All right. The missed opportunity Missed. That's fine. I'll take those. I'll take those. I right, mismatch islands all they come. Make it happen here. Mismatch islands. Let's make it happen. So we milled over to Shauna, which is good. Now they only have three threats left. Okay, in response to that, I'm drawing three. <laughs> Opponent, you're done. You're cooked. Not a single land, though, which is kind of unfortunate. It, it, it also kind of sucks that I'm playing one ring in, a, in an Orcish Bowmasters world, but... Oh. 
Playing that in a, in a thing. Okay, so, so far they've cast two spells. So I know their hand perfectly still. Land off the top. Uh, That's fine. So I'll play this. And then we'll hold up the counter spell. Right? Because if they... uh, Yeah. Oh, uh, did I reveal my hand? Oh, yikes. Okay, well, I didn't want to show them the one ring. But regardless, though, uh, this is definitely going to be like... It's going to be like one of these matchups where I don't really want Tasha's or the one ring, right? Like, I don't want that in a world of Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, I'm down to take out, honestly, all of these. And then maybe we'll keep like one Tasha's. Uh, yeah, one Tasha's and then bring in these. Uh, I like the I don't like the surgicals necessarily because it is card disadvantage. We aren't necessarily going to like. You know, we're playing against Demir Control. They're generally going to have counter spells and a little bit more to them. But I think the Cobrews are going to be great here. Honestly, the Cobrews with the... The Cobrews with the one ring present an interesting proposition. They really do. And I think maybe that's the whole point of this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try it, right? Like, I am... I'm kind of playing a hybrid of two lists here. And I kind of want to try these Cobrews. This is definitely the Cobrew matchup. You're playing proactively, but kind of presents an interesting proposition. Uh, no. No. Not this one. Uh, better. Drop the one ring, unfortunately, but that's fine. I don't know. Honestly, it's also the idea that this is probably not even a matchup where that one ring resolves. Like, in, in all honesty, it's probably not. Um. Wow, okay. So, do they have one in hand in that case? Interesting. Um. Hmm. I think what I want to do is definitely Watery Grave and then bring out a Hedron Crab, force out some interaction from them, right? They're going to subtlety. They they fear it that bad. Uh, We'll top it. That's fine. You're willing to subtlety that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So you're going to hold up Counterspell? No lands. No lands. Opponent? Opponent, just give me games for free. Mystical Dispute? That's insane. That's actually insane. No land hands. Giving me the playback with more resources. I'm actually going to put that into the yard. I don't want that right now. So it looks like I just need to push the advantage. I don't need to be like reactive at all. I've taken the playback. They miss a land drop here. They lose. Yep. That's a, that's a lost game of magic right there. So we're going to play this. Play the Field of Ruin. Right, and then we're gonna cold brew their hand. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cold brew their hand. God, I miss cold brew. Hey yo, hey yo, not with that, not with that. You're not. What are you saying? What is that hand you kept, opponent? All right, game one. Game. I didn't even need to cast the one ring. Game one. All right, five land hands. Absolutely not. This is. Uh, marginally better. All right, we'll have to keep the field room. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Panic daddy. All right, daddy. What's going on? Okay, opponent keeps a seven. Fetch off the top like that. I'm a big fan. Stomping grounds. Okay. Ragavan. Okay. Mid range. Some type of mid range reach combo, reach, reaching for okay. Well, well, this is dying ASAP, so let's get that out of there. Uh, unholy heat's live, so that's something to consider, but okay. Some type of some type of mid range abundant harvest. You kept a one lander, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So that's dying right now. Right? That's going to die right now. I'm going to be 100% honest. That's dying right now. Right? Because I don't want them getting any surveil value from that either. 
managed to keep up. Not so bad. Not so bad. Would really like to draw an island here. Oh my lord. Okay. All right. Putting the pedal to the metal, eh? Putting the pedal to the metal. Um. Um. I think it's just play crab, honestly. Play crab, get our mill value. Because it looks like, honestly, like next turn, the reason I'm doing this is we get some type of mill value out of this. It looks like Tasha should be able to go decent into this deck. It should it should be able to do something. Um, okay, they're going to heat it. That's fine. Um, and, and I was thinking I would get some additional crab value out of it. Tasha should be able to get decent here. And I, I can actually create, quote unquote, double blue with this, right? So you tap a borrow for blue mana. You tap Field of Ruin to bounce your borrow back to your hand. Play it again. You you essentially fix your mana for blue. That's if I don't draw a land. Uh, that's GG. Triple of this. I don't think I can race that. Honestly, I just have to try and go for a win here. Like, I, I, I've just drawn Unfortunate. Like, okay, I just have to hope that this goes far. So tap this, tap this for mana. Bounce this with this, right? Bounce the Aboro with the colorless. So a neat little trick for all my Aboro players that you can do here. This needs to go deep. Wow, that's GG's. Um, What are they... What do they have that's so big, though? Just had a bunch of 2CMC stuff? What? This is just some type of, like, thing aggro. All right, um, that's fine. So this is just some type of, like, gruel aggro. Okay, and they just got, like, pretty... Pretty lucky with that. Um... Say in this case, definitely... Definitely some of these. I think these to shot... Down some of this stuff. I think all of this is pretty reasonable. I think Tasha's is out. Jace is kind of interesting. Jace is kind of interesting. I think the one rings are good. But I'll take out Jace. And then maybe shave one of the one rings. Just for like the ensnaring bridge counter synergy. But I think this is how we'll play. We'll bring the Ashiox in for like the heats and the... Heats and the Underworld Breach and all that stuff. I don't know if this is necessarily a Soul Guide Lantern matchup. I think this hand's a trap. But it's a dang good trap. It's a trap I might fall for. They boarded up. Um, They boarded up to 68. Yeah, this is a trap. <sighs> okay, this is fine. Fine. Okay. Uh... Drop the archive trap. I I think the one ring will actually like help us here. I think the one ring will. Okay, let's see if we can get a land on the top here. I uh, sure. I'll keep that. So that confirms the one ring, which is nice. We'll gain protection for a turn. We'll be able to kill like a turn one Ragavan here too. Um I think I think we generally have what we need, and then we can start drawing into some stuff here. What I'll do is I'll kill this and then we can draw with the visions if we need to. Oh, uh, okay. That definitely, definitely need an answer then. Okay. Uh, I will, since you're on one land, I will definitely aggressively feel to ruin this right now just to just to kind of stop that nonsense pass through a wire might is unfortunate we'll say that but if they don't draw a non-basic here then we should be fine oh lordy lord this is the gam this is the gambit right here um yeah this is the gambit let's do it 
the gambit the one ring top the one ring draw a card right all right opponent can you find the land if they do find the land they have to use it sacrifice the haywire might and then yeah so none of this does anything right now which is great we're gonna draw from there okay tell you what it's about to get it's about to get funky so we'll grab this we're actually in a really good spot right now so i'll kill one of these right all right you can gain your two life that's fine and i just have to hope that my one ring doesn't kill me but th that's fine they're kind of forced to like use it at this point so uh they can now attack in with the haywire mites which is fine they're kind of stuck on lands that's fine i'm gonna be taking my damage off that it's problematic Agavan is a problematic magic card um i think i will just cycle this though just get some free draws. I think we need some removal here, honestly. That's not the type of draws we're looking for right now. That's not the type of draws that we're looking for right now. That's pretty nice. Question is, okay, let's draw first. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is where Collective Brutality goes absolutely insane. So we're going to cast this. Bang, 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 pay this, drop Misty Polluted, oh, big Grape Shot is crazy, okay, uh, I guess Grape Shot, because I definitely don't want that, and then I just guess we we play the Misty to definitely just get more basics if they get to that Blood Moon plan here. That's fine. Get more basics now. And then that's it. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Clearing out their board. And we still have a Fatal Push if they play one more threat. Interesting, interesting. So it's like a bunch of reduction cool i guess it's 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 interesting okay fair enough e yeah you got it you got another island too so that's completely fair uh we are developing our mana i will say that well there's what you're looking for to pop that draw three right now uh sure Probably should have just done... Okay. Literally just terrible sequencing on my part, but okay. Um, yeah, so we'll cast that again. Play the Field of Ruin. Right? And then hard cast... Uh, I think we'll play the Ashiok. Um, yeah, I think we'll play the Ashiok, actually. And then this will shut down their whole graveyard. So now they use the unholy heat. I have another heat, which is fine. It'll kill this crab. They'll pop that. Kill that. And then my one ring is really what's going to be like killing me at this point. So I do have to be careful with that. No non basics to grab. So I, yeah, this is a three turn clock. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. So we are going to be able to take advantage of that. So we're going to cast this, go this, this. Bang, bang, pay this, drop an ensnaring bridge, because I'm not going to need that. We're going to take out the grape shot, because that is a nightmare. One, these are their four cards. We're then going to archive trap them. Right, and then we're going to Ashiok. just more cards now okay so i'm gonna take five the turn after i take five so there look i so i can collect a brutality to gain some life put me at like one 
Okay. All right. I might actually... The One Ring might actually end up killing me here, honestly. All right. The One Ring might actually end up doing me in here. Uh, but we'll draw our cards and... Oh, actually, not, not really. Yeah, because we'll lose five here, sure. But then we just cast another one. Yeah, we're just going to cast another one now. Yeah. Um, we're going to draw cards... Just drawing a million cards right now. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is just cast another one ring. All right, let's just cast another one ring. Gaining protection, opponent. Come on, this is not happening. The <laughs> Mill abusing the one ring. Mill abusing the one ring right here. Come on, let's go. Our opponent kept a terrible hand too. Like I just, this isn't even, this is just showcasing how, uh, choose a one ring to keep. Definitely keeping this one. This is just showcasing how like absolutely busted, um, the card is when like you're ahead, really. That's all this is doing. So drop an instant bridge. And then drop the engineered explosives that we do not need. I actually really like this. Collector Brutality in the One Ring is actually, like, really good. I, I really like that that combination. Um, we're going to play this. Then play this. And then <laughs> mill you and then just pass the turn. And we're really going to drop Misty and probably just Misty. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, we didn't need to. We could have just dropped Drown, but I'm being overprotective here. The opponent's lost. Opp opponent's like actually lost. I don't know why they're still playing this game. <laughs> like, I actually don't understand, but I guess they want to see the memes play out. Like, I have it in hand. So let's activate the one ring. Okay. All right, GG's. We managed to get there with the one ring absolutely just putting in the work right now. I've drawn so many cards off the off these one rings. Uh, so let's do this. Let's archive trap you. Right. Exact lethal. And then we can do this. And then whatever your card is. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, oof. Okay. Um, okay, we brought it back. So now our opponent knows what we're doing, right? Um, I will say if there is a world where like, I kind of do like in snaring bridge, honestly, if there's a world where do I like in snaring bridge though, I might just go one ring and then one extra paint. Cause if they're doing stuff like that against us, like Ashiok is kind of win more kind of stops their graveyard. I think this is fine. I think this is fine, but I think in snaring bridge might be a little a little worse because I think pr the protection is kind of nice because it prevents them from really going off on their turn with Underworld Breach. That's the key because you got to sack Underworld Breach at the end of turn. So if we play the one ring, they can't go off on those turns, which is kind of nice. So they brought in a couple less cards by the looks of it. Um, I'm kind of down to keep this. It's a little weird, but it's double crab with a removal, which I think I think will be valuable. And we have ways to like get our basics and everything. So we know they're playing Blood Moon. Sure, that's dying. Oh baby. Oh baby. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you right now. It's about to go hard in the paint. It's about to go hard. So let's take that unfortunate if they're able to kind of go off here if they're able to play a mana reducer here dash in a ragavan interesting okay what's the card they're taking from us here boro okay all right interesting interesting so we're gonna play this out i 
think what we're going to do is we're going to pollute a Delta now in case they have Blood Moon. And then we're just going to be able to, you know, if they if they heat us here, that's fine. And then we can play like Isla next turn. And then we have, we have double blue, which is very good for at least our Archive Traps and our Ashiok, uh, which I think we're still playing. Can't even remember really. Yeah, we're still, we're playing our Ashiok main. So a lot of, lot of things working in our favor. I'm going to play the Ruin Crab. Um, they have like the types they need to kill it, but it's kind of forcing that answer out of them. So they didn't want to do anything that turn. That's fine. They could just go slam Blood Moon here. The treasure token's like actually kind of big. Honestly. The thing I'm really worried about is like Breach. I have to be very careful about like how aggressively I mill them. Like I can do a, I can do a lot of damage here. Aired Mesa comes down. Yup. Eight cards in graveyard. Sucks that we don't have any crypt incursions. I will say that crypt would be crypt would be so good against this matchup. Truly. And a Morphos. Okay. It's it's interesting. This little like side plan that they have is 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 really really interesting. What's the mana that they're adding to their pool? They're like really thinking. Like, are they trying to like go off this turn? It's really cool. Like, I I I, I don't want to lose, but I also like it'd be pretty cool to see this deck go off. Okay, what are you doing with that and the treasure? Okay. Uh, Hedron Crowd's definitely blocking that. I will say that. You're not, you're not getting your treasures for free. Yeah. You're not getting your treasures for free. Yep. So play this. Uh, we can wait on playing Sewers, I think. There are three cards. One of them's a Ragavan. We can wait on playing Sewers. I could just cycle Fractured Sanity at their end step. And then just take it from there. The unchecked Ragavan is kind of unfortunate. Like we were able to answer the first one. They had another one. Kind of unfortunate. We need to we need to like have an answer for that. I'm taking three going to eleven at least. If they remove this. They remove this uh, crab. It's not looking good for us. We we're able to meme them out that game too. But we could top deck a ring. Um, and then that could really change the tide of the game there. Yeah, top deck ring could really change the tide of the game. Because then I can I can just start drawing into like more answers. I think we didn't, and and oh, it's just the fact that we don't have a crypt incursion, I think, is is going to be one of our biggest downsides here, um, especially with what's going on in their on like on their field right now. Like we're not able to, um, we're not able to kill that dragon's rage channeler traditionally right now. We need a fatal push, um, I should say. We aren't able to collective brutality. We're not able to co-brew that. So they went into a land. That's interesting. Who's land? There's like a, like they're trying to set up for like some type of like big turn or something. So still, you know, two mystery cards from the last, well, I don't know, from whatever turn. They cast Abundant Harvest. Let's see what happens here. Take a one ring off the top. That'd be really unfortunate. Okay, no, no Ragavan coming at us. That's kind of nice. Okay, so we're going to 11. Definitely going to cycle this Fractured Sandy because it's getting a little ridiculous. Okay. So it's going to be a little big. Okay, so they're just going to hard cast that. That's kind of nice. I will say that. That is kind of nice. So we will cycle this. Try and find ourselves a one ring. That's not a one ring. They have one card in hand. How much can I mill them for here? This questing druid can get massive. Like I can mill them for 20 cards. 
And I just have to hope that the top card, like what's better, milling them for 20? I don't think so. I don't think milling them for 20 is the plan. That's a little too late. Play under city sewers. Ashiok is a little too late. Put it in my graveyard. I don't need that. Yeah, we're just drawing the wrong half of our deck. It's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay. All right. Let's just hope that their cards suck. <laughs> Alpine Moon. All right. Alpine Moon. All right. This, this honestly is like a quote unquote sucks card. So that's fine. Uh, okay. I mean, they can name like Field of Ruin, I guess. Yeah, what are they naming with that? Or are they just naming Stomping Grounds to like better their own mana? Because that's a thing too. They can name Mountain, I guess. Like what's, what's the like high, like high tier name with this? You know, is it, is it Sheldock Isle? <laughs> Sheldock is quite the name. I think I leave this questing druid unblocked. I don't know. Ah, this is just working with random. I think I have to block the Sheldock, uh, the Shell the questing druid. But then, like, what's my out? I don't even know. I pl play the one, like, the one ring is my out. The one ring can just draw me into more. And I took out my ensnaring bridges. Oh, I took out my ensnaring bridges. No! Look out my ensnaring bridges, so I have no out there. Hopefully then like the one ring can draw me into like a cobru and I can get something going from there. I can like kill the Ragavan and I, I don't know. Um opponent's taking forever. Yeah, Field of Ruins the name, that's fine. Okay. Combat. Block this, cause holy, that could just get big. Ragavan takes my what? Okay, fine. Take it. That's not a card I wanted to draw. Are they going to play that? That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious if I start getting milled out. That would be absolutely, positively hilarious if I start getting milled out. See, if I mill them for 20, you know, they would have had four more cards than now, right? Four more cards than now. I don't know. They're actually playing it. Yo, they're doing it. They're memeing me. They're actually hitting me with the memes. No. Okay, good, good. Those are all cards I didn't want to draw. I will take that. E on one is kind of hot. E on one is kind of hot. Mm, so how do I want to do this? Uh, so Field of Ruin to thin the deck. Field of Ruin to thin the deck. Just So if they top deck Blood Moon here, I'm thinking. I do want my black sources, so I can grab my black source. And then I E on one. Hopefully they just draw land or something. E on one, sacrifices Sunburst. That wipes that part of the board here. And really what I have to do is I have to hold the EE because if they play another Ragavan, I have to be able to kill it. Right? Okay, so that's... that's. Oh, right, I can't... Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, whatever. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh, e on... One. Can't I? Yeah, I can't just play Ashiok as well. That's fine. All right. So I, I, I have to, I have to wait, right? I have to wait. If they top deck a Ragavan, I have to have an answer for that. All right, so that'll grow that to five. It'll take me to one. They left it on top. That's crazy. 
That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we have Ashiok to, to mill whatever that is over. If we can find an answer to the questing druid. That's the real question right now. Um, Okay, Alpine Moon comes down. You name something, right? And I'm just going to pop, pop that. I'm at one. The one ring actually does... Mm, I don't know if the one ring saves me here. I need, like, Fatal Push. Truthfully, Demolition Field is hilarious. They force the issue. Pop this, right? Yeah, because they, they need to grow that Questing Druid. Completely fair. What do I draw? Off the top. Oh, GG's. Oh. All the way down to the end. Could not find our one ring. Honestly, it would have worked here. Honestly, it, it, it really would have worked here. Yeah. All right. We're at one. GG's. Let's hope this game can be a little better than the last. I think. Uh, whatever. I'll force it. I'll force it. It's not ideal. We are playing 23 lands. Honestly, you shouldn't. I shouldn't be playing any Jaces whatsoever. I should probably just be playing like four Visions. Just so I can try and cantrip into more lands. Mm, excuse me. Or I honestly should just be playing Preordain. Forget the vision to be on. I should just be playing Preordain, honestly. But all right, pass through. We'll get a we'll get a sewer. We can filter for uh for more lands in general. Let's see what our opponent does. Might have to get a watery grave depending on what they do. Flooded strand. All right, the archive trap is gonna go off here. All right, TBE clockwork. Breeding pool. I can barely read it due to fuzziness. Crot. When I tell you this deck got me stressed out. When I tell you. Oh, and, they, and they're playing the Leyline version. Okay, good. A little bit of experience. This deck got me stressed out. Uh, put him to my graveyard. This deck got me stressed out. Let me tell you. All right. All right. At least we got like some head starts here. Kind of don't want to crack this fetch just to increase my chance of drawing a land. But we'll have to if we need to, right? All right. At least it's suspend four. At least it's suspend four on the footfalls. Okay. Yep. Did we top deck another one? <laughs> that's that's really what they're asking here. That's really what they're asking here. Did we top deck another one? The chances are so low. All right, hit you with it. Should've just gone end step, honestly, but whatever. All right. All right, opponent. <laughs> I'm not gonna crack that. Just gonna try and find a land. All right. I'm so embarrassed. Like, I'm actually like, that's it's like literally game losing to lose that type of tempo like yo all right so literally all of this literally like all of that i don't want any of this any of this no visions We shave like one of these, one of these. Right. I don't want to get rid of the one ring, but I think I have to. Two of those. I think like it's got to be these three. Which is actually crap. I don't really want to play it like this, but... See, what does Kobu really do for me, though? What does it really do for me, though? In all honesty, like, what does that card really do for me? In, in like, in comparison to all of this? Like, at least, I don't know, the one ring, we could shave a one ring back to a drown. <laughs> like, taking it out of their hand means nothing. Yeah, it's really just going to be an extra paid game. But if they manage to, like, have it out. 
All right, it'll have to be this. It'll have to be. I got four lands, one ring, and a Soul Guy Lantern. They have no pregame effects. So it'll have to be this. So let's get out the Ley Lines. We're not going to... It's not going to get Ley Line Binding now. They have Fire Ice, right? So this, this crab is safe. This crab is safe. Okay. All right, let's mill them out. Right. Save targets always yield. You know, fetch. You'll fetch in response to this, though. No way. Eh? More than happy to just do this then. Play the Soul Guide Lantern. Do you have a force for this? Can't mystical dispute it. But I feel like you kind of need to force this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, get your value now. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. What did you exile for that? A force of vigor. All right. Sure. I'm down. I'm down. I'll, I'll, I'll run it back. I'll run it back. Don't worry. I'll run it back. Right. Let's just take out the endurance from there. It might not have been a smart choice. I guess, yeah, it probably wasn't a smart choice to do that, but it's okay. Xander's Lounge. Okay, now they can start Leyline Binding my stuff if they want to. Going to my turn. Okay. Yeah, they can rhinos me. It's not a problem necessarily. I tap down one of my things. That's fine. Okay, so we'll just we'll just, we'll just go balls to the wall here. We are just throwing stuff at their face. That is the that is the general idea here. Right? We're just gonna fetch and then shock here. And then just hope for the best. That's the idea here, right? Pass right through. Endurance in the yard. No swanging. No swanging. 20 cards exactly. Ley line of the guild packs. Three of them in yard. Okay, you can go off this turn. You can go off next. Let's see. They may choose to go off next. It's like they see like, oh, we're holding up spell pierce. Like, what do we do now? That's fine. You can, you can get your violent outburst out. That's fine. Um, if they have force, I mean, I say if, like they probably will have force. That's fine. Footfalls it is. Right. Don't need to draw into anything. Uh, let's just keep milling them. That's, that's what I have. That's all I have right now. Another 18 cards. Right. Come on, opponent. This is this is what I got. This is uh this is my game plan right now. All right. Another another nine cards. Let's see if we can if we can't just have the power of three crabs hitting you out. So one endurance gone, two in yard, potentially one in hand, one ring, force it. I have to pre yeah exactly like I I just I have to present it um and then pass the turn from there that's the that's that's the idea right there save this old guy lantern if I need to pop it I will but I probably will just be taking the hits here um they have 10 cards left there's no way they try and draw a card at all there's no way you do this again because that takes a card out of your thing Okay, they just, yeah, they just don't have another one. That's fine. They'll just play out two threats. I will not block. Because a fetch just wins it for me here. These things do have trample, though. Oh, yeah. And that's the GG's. <laughs> that's the nuts. The crab takes it all the way. All right. Perfect. All the way to the end. Um... Yo, I think we just run it back. Honestly, I think we just run it back.
Just gonna just 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 gonna play a singular one of these. No, you know what? Maybe just E on zero. Since we're on the draw, just just a just a little bit extra, you know, just just a little bit extra. Since we're on the draw and behind. Alright. Alright, I'll try it. Opponent keeps seven? Or pregame actions. Yeah, pregame. Uh, no pregame actions. They mole once, actually. Okay. Okay. Unfortunate, but we can try and take out a lay... Uh, not a lay line. We can try and take out an endurance. Rest in peace. No endurance to take. Um, okay. Could take out force negation. Honestly, could take out Force Negation. Fire Ice doesn't kill this. Leyline Binding could get this next turn. It's Mystical Disputed. I don't know. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Maybe just, yeah, just tapped. Just tapped is fine. Just tapped is fine. All right, Suspend. At least they have like one last card, but they did, they did, you know, draw. So, okay. All right. Well, crashing footfalls is not what we're hitting. Um, we're just going to let them rhinos, rhinos this out, I guess. Holy. Uh, okay. Play this. I hate you. Um, nope. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Um, honestly, I think I, I just this I don't have any answer. I think really the question is do they have shardless or, or violent outburst in their hand? And it's a 50-50. Because I, I can't let them like I can't let them do it like go off now, right? It's too early. Just gonna get memed on. Okay, 50-50 guess. One or the other. Let's hit him with the shardless, right? Let, let's hit the shardless. 50-50 guess. Did we guess right or wrong? That's the question. Did we guess right or wrong? They have one of them. They have to. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm a fan of that. They they have the force. They'll be able to play the force. Um, they still have three endurances. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. They still have two upkeeps on one of them, so. Yeah, they still have two upkeeps on one of them. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to get, we're going to get a Fraction Sandy for free, which is nice. The One Ring is going to get countered probably. Ooh, even better, actually. So now we can actually make it so the One Ring, I'm not saying, well, it's not make it so. So I think what we have to do here is I have to win off the one ring. And I think I think that's my plan here. So I'm going to pay one. I'm going to force that out of their deck right now. And I'm going to try and draw for a land. That's the idea here. Um, I don't have visions to enable. So we can just take those copies out. And I'm going to cycle this just to, just to really try and draw that land for this one ring. Hopefully they just don't top deck a mystical dispute. Confirm and confirm it there. That'd be really unfortunate. Okay, one land in hand. Mystery card being drawn. This is going to be off the one ring, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, all three crashing footfalls. Oh, come on. Be so for real right now. 23 lands. Don't fail me right now. Don't fail me right now. Um, Cards that are problematic in this deck. Sign of Draco, honestly. Get Tide Binder. Uh, okay. I mean, it's Endurance. Endurance is the next big problem, so I'm, I might as well get this now. Endurance is the next big problem for me. One of their Crashing Footfalls is coming off. Okay, all the endurances are gone. 
lot of exiled cards right now. A lot of exiled cards. Maybe they fetch here. That'd be nice. Maybe. Give me a free archive trap. No. Just always yield all of these. One's coming off right now. That's fine. I really need a land. That'd be great. I really need a land. Come on. We've come so far. I actually come so far here. Um. Damn it. All right. We're going to lose to our own deck here. Honestly, like... Gotta be playing like 24 lands or something, I guess. Yup. <sighs> Alright. So I'm not gonna block here. I think the crab is gonna help us get some value and, and hopefully win us this game if we can find a land. Okay. Alright, now the next step is hopefully he doesn't get mystical disputed. Because that's the other option that they have. So I can cycle into other one rings, which is great here. Um, we're going to draw. Okay. All right. If we can find an engineered explosives, if we can find that EE, then we're in a, then we're in a spot. We're in a spot. Okay. So last crashing footfall is coming off soon. One ring really coming in clutch for us here, honestly. Okay. Can the one ring clutch up the Rhinos matchup for us? We have to dodge mystical dispute like repeatedly here. Draw. Mm. Play around Fluster, right? The half Fluster? I don't even remember. Okay, so one ring. You have it, you have it. You have it, you have it. There's not much I'm doing. I missed my land drop, which really, like, which really screwed me over. Because I needed a... It's not even just about the protection. It's just about, like, having cards earlier. Uh, choose a one ring to keep. Definitely. Actually, interesting. Uh, no, I don't want to lose too much life here. Interesting, interesting choice, actually. Because I could lose two, but I'm then I'm just drawing more. Like, next turn with this, I so I draw one, then on my turn I draw two, three. So I can draw four total cards with this one ring. But then, not with this. Like, it's the same thing, I'm taking less damage. Yeah, in this case, it's the same thing. Because on my turn, this, this is tapped out. So the one ring that I want to keep is this one ring. Yeah, the one ring I want to keep is this one. What we'll do is we'll play Soul Guide Lantern. It doesn't really matter. We'll just ping out a Fractured Sanity. It doesn't really matter. Their, their Endurances are gone. So we will draw a card. Next turn, I can win off this Archive Trap. We just have to play to that. That's it. That's all we got. Just play to, play to winning with the Archive Trap. Just going to try and draw a bunch of cards, and that is it. Mystical Dispute is a card I got uh, I gotta dodge. Okay. Draw some cards. Okay. Okay. Can't mill him for nine, but... Can do some damage. I can do some damage. Let's keep track of what's going on in their yard here. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we have we have targets for our field, which is kind of nice. Three, and then we're going to hit their breeding pool, hit their green source, right? Playing around like Veil of Summer or something. Don't think they have that, but still. Uh, we can double drown regardless, which is nice. And I think we have it here. I think we've kind of sealed it up so we're gonna archive trap them that's it that's whew. 
that was crazy that was a crazy game of magic we, we the one ring really really won us that game really won us that game tilt a whirl coming at us with a game here i i don't i'm gonna maul this hand this hand is like weird okay it gets worse okay it'll have to be this one um drop that and then drop the one ring yeah i mean this hand could single-handedly win games so let's let's see let's see this hand can single-handedly win games for us we're probably gonna play watery grave tapped unless we have another crab yeah and then just like pass from there let's see what happens opponent okay some type of other three color matchup we're gonna hit him with the archive trap oh okay so this is creativity uh so we'll do this now uh do we do this now this is a spell pierce deck but it's also a force deck cast spell they can't cast spell pierce off that though okay they can't cast spell pierce off that though okay yeah yeah, yeah. all right sorry wrong line so go to go to their draw then we surgical the creativity okay creativity gone that is a that is all oh, they can mana tie this though did not think okay all right Pfft, did not think about the mana tide okay <laughs> did not think about the mana tide that that mana tide is gonna get me this game i know it the mana tide is gonna get me and because they're playing ran we're taking that out the mana tide is 110 percent gonna get me yeah and they're gonna go they're gonna go ren here all right fair enough fair enough See what's going on just checking out some notifications here ren comes down right and almost at a thousand subs on the other channel actually it's great um we know their hand when steam vents ren we started doing some stuff here i think really it's it's lightning bolts that we gotta get Right, like if if Ren is allowed to run away with this game, it's gotta be, it's gotta be lightning bolts. Right, even though we got visions, I gotta take these out, because then after that, like the Ren's alt is like, I don't know, it's not it's not doing much, right? It's obviously like it can transmogrify and everything, but yeah, I just gotta stop the Ren alt from getting value. One, two, three, four, five play this and then we can crack fetch now for an undercity sewers better we just start setting up our own stuff here right because we're we're able to like kind of stim some threats from them and we really just need to make land drop land drop um the thing is here if i can go land drop land drop one ring i think i win the game and and that's that's what i'm trying to work towards because the one ring is just going to be able to draw me into more mill spells, into more density, um, and into the wind condition, right? Like, that's just what it's going to be. Oh, my phone is just being terrible right now. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so opponent gets out a Goblin Shaman. That is one way to win the game. That is not a game-winning spell, I will say that. They're going to draw a discard, and then... Guess we'll just pass from there because they went where do they go actually they just topped like a mountain they didn't even deduce they played that yeah okay holy tiktok tiktok notifications popping off right now oh baby every i put up i i think like as you're watching this i, I put up the thing about lying in cdh and people got their opinions coming i guess uh actually i'll take the damage let them uptick on their Ren. And maybe forcing the Ren to like downtick is better. We'll see. Like not being able to draw my lands is so unfortunate here. Maybe we need to play a mill build with like no draw spells. You just play the one ring. You play Ren in six. And then you alt Ren in six. And then your ulted Ren in six just lets you recast your, your mill spells. There you go. I put a... I, that's an idea out there. Might try that next week. Force it. Some type of like... Salt, well, it can't be salt tide. It's got to be like four color. If I'm going to force run in six, it's got to be four color. Or is that the way we finally play Leyline of the Guild Pact? 
Okay, this game is like actually over and it's insane. It's insane how quick I lost this game. Just because my deck doesn't want to draw lands. At 23. At 23 lands, the deck doesn't want to draw lands. It's actually unfortunate. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, when I say tough, I think I like... I had the win. I mean, I did mulligan down a lot. Like the, 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 well, sorry, I shouldn't say I had the win. Uh, the, the, there was potential. There was potential. I, I, I surgicaled out a lot. Um, you know, I feel like I did the right things here, but you know, you know, they're going to create their treasures. They have a bunch of cards in their hand. They're going to be able to cast Archon actually. Yeah. You know what? Game is so far over. Just realize they can create their Archon. So I uh, will Cobru. Extirpate. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just play to an alt plan here. So we'll take out the Jaces. We'll take these out. Um, and I think what I want to do... I got to play around the fact that they might have like some type of thing. That's pretty good too. So we'll take out four Fatal Pushes. Four, pit, four Fatal Pushes. One Drown? That's not correct. one collective brutality okay well not there anyway one collective brutality out so we're gonna take all these combo hey we're gonna take the ashiok which is gonna be great against a three color deck and then and then just soul guy lantern i could i could play bridge um that might be a little too much but i think i think collective brutality is gonna be good here because bridge i always think about bridge being good here and then i always have to remind myself that that literally collect like Creativity like is on both sides. I, they, they can creativity my artifacts too. So that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, this hand does nothing. This hand does something. I'm gonna take out the drown. I'm gonna take out the drown. Just confirm my land drops and play it from there. I'll play the crab next turn. I can play sewers, ruin crab, pass. Then I can start going polluted delta, drown, go. They'll just bring in a top land here, probably. They got to enable their ley line, right? They did keep a seven, notably, but they didn't bring in more than 60. That's nice. Undercity sewers. Right. So we're going to go always yield, always yield, and then save targets, always yield. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I, I don't mind a little peek. I don't mind a little peek. We do need to like, we need to start taking some stuff out, honestly. Yeah, they can Leyline Binding with one of these. I can't, can't do anything about that. That's fine. Right, they'll get the Triome. Um, we'll, yeah, discard a card from your hand. Anger of the gods. Oh God, take that out. Oh, no. You're not killing both of my crabs. Price of one card. You're not doing that. Yeah, you're not, you're not killing both of my crabs for the price of one. Pass right through. So kill one of them here. Probably with that bolt. Got the Savoy Triome. They'll play that. They'll bolt one of my crabs. Okay. Yep. They'll play the they'll play the Fable next turn. All right. Uh, I'll just have to cast both of these here. Which should which should work which should work. If I can find a land drop too, this will work. So this is their hand. Terastodon. They don't have any tokens at the moment. Uh, yeah, I say that and then Dwarven Mine just happens, so. You didn't top deck creativity. You're actually so trash. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, do I just... Yes. All right, we win. Oh, you're, you suck, whatever. 
All right. Um. Whatever. Win through this. Win through this. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's, let's bring it back. Let's 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 calm it down, opponent. Let's let's bring it back to reality here. Let's bring it back to reality here. Okay. It's our game. Let's bring it back to reality here. Come on. Be for real. It's our game. It's our game to win right now. Let's be so for real. Sideboarding is so extreme in this deck too. It's actually just unbelievably extreme. This is cute. I'm on the play. And okay. All right. You know what? I, I, I'm going to try it. 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 Uh, let's play the soul guide first. Mm, Could have just played the root. Could have just played the well. All right. Uh, well, we'll probably play Rune Crab. We got options here. We got options here. They'll run in six because, of course, you always have the run in six. Always have the run in six. Yep. Yep. All three games. So much fun. Um, and then we'll play Rune Crab. Play the Polluted Delta. We'll grab ourselves. This this is slowly, honestly, um, Undercity Sewers is slowly becoming one of my favorite additions to this deck. It's just like so many situations like this where it's exactly as uh things said right like you you just you have it you you know you're, you're early in the game you're gonna fetch and bring in a tap land sewers just helps you like dig and like confirm what you're gonna be drawing next turn i love that right like it's just it's just one of those things so that's that's one of the beauties about it so we'll do this play this Do this. Get you to mill out a bunch, right? Next turn we can play one ring and just take it from there. Let's do this. All right. Play cold brew. Hopefully it doesn't get countered. Just play one mode. Don't need to gain life here. I think you I think you kind of gotta counter this, right? Got force for this? Fluster Storm is fine. So next turn, they probably go like Dwarven Mine Creativity. That's fine. I go I go a Borrow One Ring. They go Dwarven Mine Creativity. I go a Borrow One Ring. Uh, I drop the Soul Guide Lantern off the. This is a cast trigger too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. See, if they go into the thing again. They creativity and uh thing again, it does become a bit of a problem. The the Elish Norn. Creatures I control don't get don't get their things triggered off of lands ETB and come on. That's that's mean. That's that's not fun. For me, for me. For you it's probably fun, but not for me. It's not fun for me. We're gonna go one ring slam pass. It's like it's like I wrote the playbook. It's like I wrote the playbook. Hit me with the creativity. Hit me with the creativity. It's like I wrote the playbook. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, all right. So you have like a spell pierce or something. Okay. I don't know if I want to run out by wandering into this. I'm fine with losing that. draw card uh, all right um bring this in tapped or shocking it oh, that's the same thing I think in the grand scheme of things it'll be the same thing runs at some ungodly number yeah let's ping out let's ping out lightning bolts All right, let's see what happens. All right, opponent, go for it. 20 cards in there. A lot of permanents out. This game's, it's close. It's close right now. It's close right now. Trial it is. Because they can creativity. 
off the yard off like a off like a ren minus so that is rather relevant no swanging with the dwarves i see no swanging with the dwarves i refuse to get mana tithe Let's play the one ring. Now that I have another one, let's play the one ring. I'm not going to get mana tied. <laughs> hey, yo, let's go. It resolves. Do not lie. Yo, okay. Yo, the one ring resolves. That's actually crazy. Nah, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, they can get rid of it, but I still have protection this turn. Uh, target apply. Yeah, not me, <laughs> not me. And they can like flip it off the creativity. Oh, it's destroyed. They can't flip it off the creativity. All right. You get your rent alt. That's fine. So you can, you can bolt me a bunch. I actually should have just responded that with the soul guide, but that's fine. So I'll respond. Uh, do I just do this now? I think I just do this now before they can cast like creativity. Yeah. So their Renault is not going to be as useful right now. Okay. Graveyard's gone. Creativity. Okay. Yeah. Double, double. Yeah. Creativity twice. Oh, that's cringe. That's cringe. That's cringe right there. That, that's that's mad cringe right there. Not going to lie. That's mad cringe right there. Um, let me think here. Let's draw some cards. Bounce Elder Snorn. Ah, uh, do I really care? I think I do. Bounce Elder Snorn a hand. All right. Borrow to my hand. Play the Aboro. Mill you for three. I think I do care. So now they have access to a mana tithe. They can creativity, which is fine. Um, I'm happy to just get rid of one of my archive traps. So now they can choose between it. They can't do they can't do both, right? I've double crab out. I sack one of them, right? They can't they can't play both. Yeah, one, two, three, X, and then yeah, so they can't they can't do both. They can creativity out of their yard. But they're kind of forced into playing. I think, yeah, I think they're kind of just forced into playing this. So what this allows me to do now. Oh, it's close. I was one off actually. I didn't I didn't yeah, I was one off. Okay, whatever. Uh it's the same. Mm. Okay, if I can find a land here, that'd be great. Okay. Kill one of them. I don't, I don't care. That means you're tapped out. You can't do anything about the cards I'm going to cast at you, I was going to say. All right. Um, block there. So drag. we're going to lose some life here. The one ring. Really putting in some work here. I will say that. It's kind of unfortunate, but just be able to do this. Just be able to just start like throwing spells at their face. Mana tithe it is. Play the shell lock aisle. No ETB off that. That's fine. Oh baby. It's one ring might kill me. Let's see. Uh, I might just have to play the one ring again next turn. Feel it like. Feel the ruin. Come on, 
Field of Ruin solves this whole problem right now. Field of Ruin would be a beautiful thing. Field of Ruin solves this whole problem right now. Okay. All right. So bounce a crab. You draw a card. Okay. Oh, oh, opponent for free for free. You're lying. You're lying. Not for free. Oh, wait, what am I saying? To fair. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's not for free. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm, for, I'm, forgetting, I'm forgetting my static ability. That's fine. Okay. Bounce that. Block the Elish Norn. Block the Elish Norn. Okay. Um, remember that the crabs don't get ETB triggers. I'm saying that to myself because I will just autopilot. I will literally just autopilot in certain moments. Remember that the crabs do not have ETB triggers. Thanks to this thing. Okay. Um... Draw cards first. It's getting kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. Uh, hit the mana tides. Actually, yeah, I gotta hit the mana tides, right? Based on how I wanna win here. You can't respond. I get to see what you're on. Fluster storm. That's not helpful. I don't I don't lose off the one ring next turn. What was their hand? Bolt. One ring doesn't kill me next turn. Hmm. Kind of does, though. Kind of does, though. I didn't draw a field of ruin here. Like that's that's my biggest problem here. Fluster Storm is not a card I, I I thought I'd have to play around because they can just artificially increase their thing count. They can double fluster me. So I think it's Soul Guide Lantern. It's actually so dumb. I like lose this now. I didn't play around like I I wouldn't have been able to play around the Fluster Storm here because Storm counts one, two, three. They Fluster Storm. I. Can I, I can still play a land though. Yo, this is actually crazy. I have to like literally kill this. But then they like kill me with bolt though. They like bolt me tw three times. Like they literally have it in hand. Yo, this Renault, everything. I just don't know what the right line is here. I don't know. They have to see the line, I guess. See, this is, this is, okay. Yup. Yeah, they see the line. I can't do anything. The one ring kills me, and now I can't. I can't fluster. I can't beat the fluster storm. All right, fine. GG's. Um, I can't even counter it. All right, fine. Close, close. Let's see if we can't three two this league here. All right, this hand kind of kind of slaps. It it, it 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 does stuff and things. This hand kind of does stuff and things. Love it if my if my um. One ring adventures weren't weren't for not. Okay. 
All right, play that out. Next turn, we get ourselves a little, little top duel. Surveil, you know, opponent. What are we doing here? Easy matchup, please. Maybe some Tron, I don't know. That would be great. That would be beautiful. Catacombs makes me think this is Yawa. <laughs> Watery Grave. Okay. Okay. Fatal Push. Dot Seize. Okay, you're getting the Ruin Crap. Is this Demir Control? Yeah. This, this might just be Demir Control. Let's see, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's very much be like Death Shadow, too. So... Yeah, this could very much be like Death Shadow with like Force main or Street Wraith main. So they they can't get like thing as a as a companion. Yeah, it's Death Shadow. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So so they have like Street Wraith at least. Um, which is why they can't have Gigantha as a companion. Right? What? Okay, doubt the this is crazy. All right, um, we're gonna top that. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, um, do have to watch out for counter magic then, because they see the one ring, um, and they know we can run away with the game with that. So, see the one ring. They're at fifteen. They can, you know, shock enough to a death shadow this turn, probably. Okay, maybe not. They're not playing a one-one death shadow so far. Okay. All right, opponent preordain. Okay. Prayer name it is. Okay. Okay. What did you do with that, by the way? One top, one bottom. Not great. Kind of found what you needed. Okay. Grief takes what? The one ring? Could take fatal push. It might have originally thought like the one ring was good, but fatal push, yeah. Okay. There you go. Fatal push a decent target too. Okay. There is no way. This is so cringe. Oh, Demir scam. Like, really? You couldn't just be playing Death Shadow? Really? You couldn't just be playing Death Shadow? You gotta be playing all this counter magic too, eh? All right. Great. I'm continuing to have fun. Is this what you wanted? Grixis scam. All right. Well, taking your blue sources. Taking your blue sources. Grixis scam. Okay. Grixis scam with with Death Shadow. Okay. I hope you play against Burn the rest of your league. I really hope you do. I hope you play against Burn the rest of your league. Okay. What do you have? Don't be. Yo, when I tell you when when I tell you this is the type of modern gameplay that really just like gets me mad. Okay. Okay, I could top deck the one ring, I guess. All right. Down to 14. 35 cards. Guess I'm not dead in the water yet, but you know, yeah, now, uh, we'll feel the ruin here. Take your other source. I see Douthy's not a bad hit. All right. I'll tell you what, Jace, the perfected mine, not terrible here. See, in terms of big ass, let's, let's go to their turn. I don't know what to take, honestly. I think I'm supposed to just take. Oh, this was a misplay. I should have just I. I didn't see the bowmasters properly. Now they can bowmasters me. Oh, this is so bad. No, I'm actually getting eaten alive. Yeah, that's on me. I didn't see the bowmasters. I did not see the bowmasters in yard. That's on me. I 100% would have just surgical the Bowmasters there. 100%. Now I lose. Now I really lose. <sighs> they had a Dead Shadow and a Tashana's too. Honestly, it wasn't looking that great anyway. Now I got to play Bowmasters. 
Honestly, this is probably just a concede matchup. I, I'm playing one rings into Bowmasters in a shell that eats us apart without it. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm thinking of just conceding this game, honestly. Killing me. You're killing me right now. All right. You're killing me right now. Um. I don't know. I'm just not feeling this. This is just like. Okay. Just like not in the right mental headspace for this, I guess. Okay. So ensnaring bridge for sure. Let's play the cold brews. Take out Tasha's. Take out Surgical's. Take out Visions, I guess. I don't know. Jace is like a way to control the board. E on. Engineer Explosives isn't terrible. I don't know. Just run it like this. Just run it like this. I think our best card is probably. Um, and Snaring Bridge, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, we're going to get Thoughtseize to all Oblivion, but at least our crabs are safe. <laughs> at least our crabs are safe. Got to, like, I like focus back in. Matchups like this make me tilt out so hard. Makes me tilt out so hard. Oh, God, these matchups suck. I'd rather play Rhinos all day. Because at least Rhinos, like, Living End is too all-in. You, you Like, so all-in, you can have sideboard answers for it. Rhinos... At least, like, they put 4-4s four out, and it's not, like, immediately game-winning. At least these guys mulled a 5. We'll say that. A mulled a 5 is a small win. Okay. Pass right through there. On it, like, even that last game, like, I surgical Bullmasters there. Like, I would have lost next turn anyway. Like, they played Death Shadow. Just, I don't know. Like, what am I really drawing into there? Water Grave, Shock Fetch. Fatal Push the Crab. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get our little surveil land out. It's becoming my favorite turn two play. Um, yeah, it's become my favorite little turn two play, honestly. Or I honestly could just get watery grave out because I do want to just curve into this ensnaring bridge next turn. But I do want to try and confirm that land drop. So that's probably just net better. I want to try and confirm that land drop for the one ring. Probably just net better. Okay, perfect. All right, that gives me that gives me some peace of mind. Next turn we'll go. Next turn we'll go basic swamp. No, uh, doesn't really matter. We'll go. We'll go fetch. If our crab survives, we'll go fetch. If our crab doesn't survive, we'll go basic swamp bridge. That's how we'll divide it. Okay. Can the one ring save us? That's the question we got to ask here. Can the one ring save us? They did have to mull to five. I will point that out. If we win this game, they, our opponent did have to mull to five for us to get anywhere, which is insane to me. Absolutely insane. Okay. What did they do here? There goes that. Okay, so they, they did one top, one bottom. So Thoughtseize takes them down to 12. So the Death Shadows are 1-1s. One they actually have like a pretty interesting Swiss spread here. Okay, that's fine. So now, now I know what I'm going to do here. So they know the One Ring's coming down next turn now. In the sense that like I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest and they're going to they're gonna know it, it's coming down. Right. So they knew that's what we drew. Bringing a water grave tapped, and uh, I'm all yours, opponent. I'm all yours. Pass the turn there. So their graveyard consisting of three Orcish Bowmasters does make does make me happy. No griefs though. No griefs coming out so far. The one thing I do like about these Grixis lists, though, is generally speaking, they don't have answers to mill. Um, but their plan their plans are just good enough to beat mill, but 
usually speaking, like you don't have to worry about a shuffle effect unless they like have a really low curve and they're worried about Tasha's and everything. But usually these Grixis lists just don't have good answers. Um, like against. Okay, well, all right. Um, I'll tell you what. If I ever saw a slam one ring motion, it's now. All right, opponent, force negation. They force, I pretty much lose. I guess not. Okay, that's good. Draw one now before the Bowmasters comes on. It's good, though. Now we know the ensnaring bridge could actually be really good here. Collective Brutality also, is also just going to help us get empty handed in those situations. Dead Shadow. Can't swing in and do anything. Okay, one card in hand. 1-1 one, one Shadows. Yep, take a damage. Let's draw a card. Nice. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, let's see if this resolves. Let's see if this resolves. Instead of going for the archive trap. Love that. Keeping this one ring. Hundo P. Alright, now now this shell dock is pretty much just gonna confirm the win. If I can get a good mill spell underneath it. If I can get a good mill spell underneath it, then we pretty much win this game. But again, they did have to mull aggressively for us to get here. Okay, so we have it next turn, which is great. But I'm, you, I'm happy for the win. I'll tell you that. I'm happy to put up a fight, but it's not much of a fight when you're, when you're, when you're fighting a toddler, right? They, they mull the five, not even getting, uh, you know, thinged here. Not where I want to be. Okay. So we have, like, we just have the mill we need off of the crabs themselves. So we can play that. Right? We can play these. And depending on if they interact or not, we can activate the one ring to draw. Right. Yep. So game to next game. All I got is if they mulligan hard, I could bring in the engineered explosives. Like, like, like I see it. I, I see it, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so I'm so iffy about engineered explosives. I get it. I have copies of the card, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. Close. It's close. It's close. If this Jace was a fetch land. This hand would have slapped. Would have slapped hard. Um, we got a mulligan though. We got a mulligan. There's no way to draw out of this either. Um, okay, we'll have to keep this one. Drop an archive trap. We'll eventually get to the drown. Uh, was dropping archive trap smart? Because we have double field, but and they probably will fetch. But I guess this kind of this kind of lasers in the thoughtsies they might have into the into the drown in the lock, maybe. But let's see what they do. Okay, cycle street wraith. Yo, do they have a turn one death shadow? There's no way. They kind of. Okay, all right. Come on, you don't. Oh, I was just gonna say. Oh, okay. That a fetch shock there. All right, okay. Uh, Cobra's kind of nice. Don't mind messing with that eventually. Uh, we're gonna put that in the yard. I I genuinely don't want that right now. Like, oh, you can discard it to... No, I don't... That's, I need my cards to work for me. Until I until I resolve a one ring, like, I can't be thinking like that. They might take the Cobra here, honestly. They might just take the Cobra. Okay. Oh, they take the Drown. They take the Removal. Yo, they kept a one-lander? Don't lie. Yo, you... 
I mean, if you kept a one lander, I'm playing on my threats. I'm playing on my threats if you played a one lander. You know, I stopped the top deck watery grave. <laughs> Folks, I stopped the top deck watery grave. Okay. Alright. If we can meme them out, <laughs> they're gonna keep bad hands. If we can meme them out. Okay. Alright, so we're field of ruining this watery grave. We're fielding this watery grave. 100%. Alright, yeah, we're definitely feeling it. Um, so now we have multiple colors here. Grab an island. We're going to grab our... Put our Hedron Crab down. So that stops them off the blue. They can't counter this. And then pass the turn. Okay. We're getting lucky. I'm a fan. Our opponent kept his... I mean... They kept a hand on the draw with double Street Wraith. I, I understand. Truthfully, I understand. Okay. Uh, we're going to cast this. Minus two, minus two. Right? Give a way to, like, increase this thing's power toughness. Give a street rate at instant speed. Give a street wraith at instant speed. Opponent. What's going on right now? 2-2. Two, two. If they have a street wraith, then good bait. I... I, I approve. I approve. It's good bait. Okay. Alright. Guess not. We're playing out our other crab. Okay. If we can make a land drop into the one ring. Ooh, baby, we've won this game. Oh, baby, we've won this game. If we can go land drop into the one ring. Found their land. Okay. All right. Let's 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 hope they just play a threat pass or something. I don't know. Okay. All right. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Land one ring. Come on. Land one. Okay. Um... And then just kill that. Kill that again. Kill it with fire. Right? Because that thing, that th this thing, it just cannot be around for that long. All right. Yeah, it just, it just cannot be around. Come on. Land one ring and I win this game. Opponent's catching up. Not good. Opponent's catching up right now. They're going to find their land clumps at some point, right? They're going to play their land. They're going to find their land clumps at some point. Okay. All right. Do you have the counter spell? That is the end. That is the question. That is the question of the century. Do you have the counter spell? Tishana Tidebinder. Or yeah, Tishana Tidebinder is a, is a thing too, but I, I still got my protection. Sure. Stubby D is fine. I can't pay for it. But that's a Stubby D that will not hit... Um, will not hit a future mill spell. Fine. Get a counter spell out of their hand. And uh, they're just not playing any threats, so... Fine with that. Their Death Shadows are about to be massive. Death Shadows are about to be massive. No more fetchables, eh? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Do like that. Let's grab a watery grave. Grab an island. Ooh, I do like playing. I do like playing some land destruction. I do. I do like that. Okay, that's limiting more of their options. So that's a that's a Tishana that's not happening right now. All right, we are truly memeing our opponent right now, but it can still go either way. Okay, nothing from our opponent. They kept a greedy hand and they're suffering because of it. Ooh, sub. Sub's coming in. Sub's coming in hard right now. Okay. 
opponent just losing the will to live slowly and slowly. Their sanity is grinding. Okay. Losing their dismembers and their douthies. I'm a fan. I wonder if their hand is just full of like counter magic and they like... <laughs> I just, I'm just wondering what their hand is. All right. We won. I'll take it. We 3 2 would it. Ooh, all right, let's uh, let's open up that chest because that was a that was a modern league. Let me tell you. All right, that was a modern league. Let's go to something we have at least a quantity one of. All right, open one of these. Let's see what we got. All right, some play points, some stuff and things. Asmodeus, yeah, okay. Um, all right. Till the next time, GGS.